Last week, I talked about the size of the GA4 market and the opportunity for agencies to start providing GA4 services. I even gave this handy decision tree, which you can get at ddu.ai slash GA4 tree. Now for all types of GA4 services, we want to determine how much we can charge for each because GA4 service pricing depends on several factors and the secret is to blend your rates together. And I'm going to talk about how to do that in this video. Okay, so what level of resources do you need to do the job? Before you even consider your pricing, you want to decide how advanced you want to get with your GA4 services. Now, GA4 services can be broken down into roughly three skill levels for the services, beginner level, intermediate, and advanced. Now, some services are easy to deliver with a set of SOPs that you can hire a VA to follow. That's more the beginners. Other services are more advanced and require years of experience to deliver. Now, obviously, the more advanced the service, the higher price you can charge. And to deliver a broad range of GA4 services, which is what you're gonna to wanna to do for your clients, you'll need to have a team in place to do things at all different levels. Getting a team in place can be expensive, especially if you hire experts, so you'll need to charge a lot more than you think if you wanna turn a profit. Next, I wanna answer the question, do you have processes in place to deliver? And this puts most agency owners in a bit of a conundrum. Do they keep their business small and boutique to avoid the pain of training up a team and not invest in process? Or do they take on more custom work, which is expensive for both you and your client? Or do you build a business that can scale with the right people in place? Now the risk here, of course, is overstaffing, which can kill your margins. So is there a third option between overstaffing and doing something that's completely boutique? There actually is. You can use something that I call blended hourly rates, which you can scale quickly and profitable without taking on too much risk. And the key to doing that is process. If you wanna learn about processes, go to our GA4 toolbox at ddu.ai slash GA4 toolbox. Okay, so how much you can charge starts with this question. How much does the client value what you're doing? Now, before I walk you through an example of blended hourly rates, you'll wanna think about what your client does and how they value your services and your time. Different clients value different things and those are most often related to their size and sophistication. But in general, the more customized, detailed, and complicated the service you provide, the more expensive it will be to your clients. In this case, they are more likely to perceive higher value from your expertise and pay you accordingly. But what if your client isn't sophisticated? They won't make the same level of investment in your services, and that's where you want to bring costs down with a blended hourly rate. So let's give a specific example. Let's use GA4 migration services as our example. First of all, let's assume that for every hour you spend on client projects as a business owner, it's costing you $500 an hour. And that is what I call an opportunity cost. Now you're not actually charging $500 an hour necessarily, but you're missing out on $500 an opportunity if you're doing something other than sales and marketing. Okay, so if you spend 10 hours developing an internal GA4 migration process, that is $5,000 worth of unbilled time. But let's say this process that you just developed save your agency 1,000 hours a year. And now that's potentially $500,000 worth of new revenue that you're bringing in from doing that one investment of your time. Now let's say you have three members in your team who are implementing the process you developed. One is doing beginner level service and they earn $10 an hour. Another one does intermediate level service and they're getting $30 an hour. And the third one who's an expert earns $50 an hour. And when you hand this process to your three team members, let's say it's an average of $30 an hour each total, and each team member takes 1,000 hours to complete, that's $90,000 in labor costs, but your company makes $500,000 in the new projects minus that 90 k in labor costs. And remember, we're assuming your rate here is even $500 an hour. So on top of the 10 hours you spent creating the process, you spent another 90 hours managing your team and overseeing the delivery, that's another $50,000 in costs. And let's say another $10,000 for overhead and administrative costs. When you add all those extra costs in, even your time, even at $500 an hour, you're still generating $350,000 in profit margin off that 500K in revenue that you generated, which is nearly a 70% margin. And so that's the power of blended rates. Even if you pay yourself a ton of money, you're not using as many hours as the rest of your team, and you can make it up by spreading that work out across lower expense resources. And this is an example of using a blended hourly rate. It's the only way for agencies to be consistently profitable. Now, if you implement a blended rate successfully, the following happens to your business. You earn more profit, you're able to scale more quickly, and your team delivers higher quality output because you follow a consistent process. So there you have it, the one and only secret to consistent profits for agencies. Now, if you wanna get more tips for adding revenue and profit to your business, I have one more thing that I wanna share with you. 
We have a live cohort training that teaches agencies how to provide GA4 services from the ground up. It comes along with resources like rate cards, decision trees, and multiple business development systems. And we run this training only once a quarter and the next one's coming up soon. So to check out the next training session and to sign up, go to ddu.ai slash GA4 agency. And next week, I'm gonna talk about how to build a team to help scale your GA4 service delivery, especially the advanced stuff that your clients will really value.